All right. Good morning, Utopian Baseball Universe. This is Joey Buckholtz with the Father's Day Utopian Baseball Universe report. A day late, but I have a good reason. Uh, Jen and I made tacos, and they were the greatest tacos of all time. And she made an amazing salsa, and uh, I hope you forgive me. The tacos and the salsa take precedent. Uh, it, it won't be a daily occurrence, but when tacos and salsa are on the table and lemon Oreo treat that my sister made, those have to take precedence when it happens. So uh, we're going to do two things today. We're going to recap yesterday's games. We're going to give you a preview for the next three days. And then uh, at the end of Wednesday, the first half of the season is done. And then it's All-Star Weekend. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, later this afternoon, probably about noon, we're going to close the polls on the uh, two ballots that I placed yesterday. And then we'll get two, two more polls up today uh, about noon. But uh, let's get started with your Father's Day scoreboard. We're going to start in the East. Uh, the Phillies beat the Mets yesterday 4-1. to one. Chase Utley, two-run double. Pete Alexander, seven innings, one earned, six strikeouts. Alexander improves to eight and five. Jerry Kuzman takes the loss. He's five and six. Tug McGraw with his ninth save for the Phillies. Uh, Phillies take two or three in this series against the Mets. Yesterday's Xbox game was the Red Sox five, Yankees two. The Red Sox get the sweep. Seven doubles for the Sox in this game. Uh, two by Nomar, two by Tony C. John Lester went the distance to secure a sweep for the Red Sox on Father's Day. The Orioles beat the Expo 7-3. Adam Jones, three hits in an RBI. Frank Robinson homered his 11th. Uh, home runs from Andre Dawson and Gary Carter for the Expos. Steve Stone, the winner, he's 5-7. and seven. Corbin Burns takes the loss for Montreal, he's 3-8. and eight. The Blue Jays beat the Nationals yesterday 3-2. Bo Bichette with a walk-off single. Willard Brown, four hits and two steals for the Blue Jays. Mark Eichhorn wins his first game of the year for the Jays. Kyle Barraclaw takes his first loss for the Nationals. In the North, the Pirates win a wild one at PNC over the Brewers 10-8. Pirates have five runs in the sixth, three runs in the seventh. Rob Deere hit a first inning grand slam for the Brewers. Gorman Thomas homered his ninth. Uh, Roberto Clemente homered. <coughs> Ralph Kiner homered. Hannes Wagner homered. Uh, so a lot of offense there at PNC as the Pirates uh, take the series against the Brewers 10-8 yesterday. Uh, the Tigers win big against the Twins, 10-3. Uh, Miguel Cabrera, one for one with three walks, three-run homer. Uh, Mickey Tettleton went three for four with three RBIs as the Tigers beat the Twins, 10-3. Uh, the Reds over the Cubs, 5-2. Johnny Vandermeer, seven innings, no earned runs, five strikeouts. Johnny Bench hit his 12th homer for the Reds. Eric Davis, a, a pair of runs scored for the Reds as well. In 15 innings yesterday at Comiskey Park, the Indians beat the White Sox 6-5. to five. Eat the Very, very interesting game. Each team scored in the 11th. Nap Lajue with a go-ahead RBI single in the 15th. Jim Tomey had five hits in this, game, in this game, including his 12th homer. Joe Jackson went 3-for-7 with two RBIs and a run scored for the White Sox. In the South Division, the Bulls beat the Marlins 2-1. to one. Bulls scoring single tallies in the 7th and 8th. Jim Bunning, five scoreless innings, three hits allowed, three strikeouts. Mike Lowell hit his fourth homer for the Marlins. In what I'm calling right now the game of the year in the Utopian, the Rays beat the Braves 6-5 to five and 12, pulling off a sweep of their own. They are now in first place in the South. Check this out, folks. Down 2 nothing in the ninth. the Rays. Back-to-back -back homers with two outs in the ninth. Braves score three runs in the 12th, and the Rays answer with four in the bottom of the 12th. Austin Meadows had a sack fly to end the game. The play was actually reviewed. Uh, there was question as to whether uh, the, the run scored or if they got the tag on them, they called them safe. But that's how the game ended. The back-to-back uh, -back homers in the ninth by the Rays were by Carl Crawford and, and Justin Upton. His first of the year, but just an amazing game. Uh, good things are happening at your Boar City Stadium in Tampa Bay. 
as they beat the Braves 6-5. They now have a two-game lead on the Braves in the South. The Royals beat the Astros yesterday 5-4. Jeff Bagwell had three hits and two RBIs. Carlos Correa had three hits, a run scored, and a steal. Whit Merrifield hit a sixth homer for the Royals. Buddy Biancolano went deep for the Royals, his second. And Jose Cruz homered for the Astros, his eighth. On ESPN last night, in an absolute laugher, the Cardinals beat the Rangers 13 to 2. The Cardinals led this game 13 to nothing after four innings. Uh, Albert Pujols, Judd Wilson, and Yadier Molina all each drew in three runs in this game. Kurt Flood homered. Uh, Joey Gallo provided all the offense for the Rangers, a sixth inning two run homer for Texas. Uh, in the West, the Mariners over the A's, 5-3. to three. Chris Basio, six innings, 11 strikeouts. Brett Boone hit a solo homer in this game. Tony Phillips hit his fifth for the A's as the Mariners take the series in Oakland. San Diego beat San Francisco 9-2. to two. Randy Jones with a complete game, uh, two earned runs, nine strikeouts. Dave Winfield had four hits, including his 12th homer. Pip Roberts had three hits and two RBIs for the Padres. It was the Dodgers over the Rockies, 8-1. to one. Fernando Mania running wild, eight innings, eight strikeouts. Jackie Robinson, three hits and two runs scored. Larry Walker hit his 12th homer for Colorado. And the California Angels, the LA Angels, I should say, uh, they are now in first place in the West with the Rockies losing and the Angels beating the Diamondbacks 13-3. to three. Angels out-hit the Diamondbacks 18-4 to four in this game. Mike Trout had four hits, an RBI, a stolen base. Mike Napoli hit a fifth-inning grand slam. He added a sack, five, sack, five, sack fly later in the game. Paul Goldschmidt, his 14th homer for the Diamondbacks. So that's your day. Uh, that's your Father's Day scoreboard. Uh, a quick preview. These are the last three games of the first half of the season. So uh, we don't have a Monday through Thursday schedule this uh, to start the week. It's all Monday through Wednesday. Each team is playing every day, Monday through Monday through Wednesday. Thursday's a day off. Uh, Friday is our home run derby and our all nighter. So I'm very much looking forward to that. From 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., I'll be online doing a live, uh, and you're invited to be on camera. Uh, a Facebook live, you can only have one person on camera. Using this technology, StreamYard, I can have up to 10 of you at once. So uh, let me know if you want to be on camera, and we'll talk baseball. We'll talk MLB. We'll talk Utopian. Uh, we'll talk about everything. But here are the series that are getting started tonight. Uh, we've got Phillies at Red Sox. Uh, Expos at Blue Jays is actually going to be tonight's Xbox game. Uh, that's going to be at about 3 o'clock today because... Uh, Mets and Braves have a doubleheader, and we're going to be celebrating Stephanie Moran's birthday in between games for about uh, 10 minutes tonight uh, on a special uh, StreamYard uh, edition of the Utopian Baseball Universe Report. Yankees and Mets, Nationals and Orioles this weekend. Uh, by the way, all aces on the bump tonight. So uh, we got some really good pitching matchups. We got Steve Carlton versus Smokey Joe Wood. We've got Ron Guidry versus Tom Seaver, Steven Strasburg versus Jim Palmer. That's just in the East. In the North, we've got Pittsburgh at Detroit, Cubs at White Sox. They're going to be our Tuesday night ESPN game. And then on Wednesday, they're going to be on MLB Network celebrating the 1906 World Series. So they're getting national coverage uh, twice this week. Twins at Brewers is our uh, Wednesday night showcase game. Uh, our our Xbox stream tomorrow uh, at about 5 o'clock is going to be Indians Reds from Great American Ballpark. Uh, in the West, we've got the A's at Giants, Dodgers at Angels. Our late our uh, Xbox stream on Wednesday is going to be after dark. It'll be about 11 o'clock on Wednesday night, San Diego at Seattle. And then Monday Night Baseball tonight on ABC with Al Michaels and Tim McCarver, uh, Arizona at Colorado. In the South, we've got Florida at Tampa Bay, the new first place team in the South, Houston at Texas, Atlanta at Durham, and St. Louis at Kansas City. So that's all happening tonight. We have no day games today. It's all tonight. Uh, like I said, in about two hours, we'll unveil the uh, winners of the last two ballots. We'll post two more. We're gonna try to do two ballots a day through uh, Friday. 
And then we'll probably do a special show Saturday morning unveiling all the rosters. So uh, um, I'll be picking most of what's left. And then you guys will have an opportunity to vote on some starters on Saturday afternoon. But uh, we have a doubleheader Saturday, uh, two all-star games. We've got the East versus the South is our late game. The West at North is our early game. Uh, Probably do... 3.30, 3.30, we're probably going to do like a mid-afternoon game and then a later game. Uh, and then the winners will face Sunday at about 5 o'clock. So very excited. Uh, the all-nighter, we did this once before. Uh, basically at 10 o'clock, I'm going to go live. And if you want to be on camera with me, you're just going to type in the comments, send invite. It's going to be right in the notes. It'll say, it'll basically give you instructions. If you want to be on the show with me, say, send invite you have to type your name because i won't see it unless you give permission uh to facebook to to, for your name to be used on Streamyard. i'll send you an invite code it takes two minutes to register many of you have already been on the show and it's not you know it's nothing formal it's just a hangout for four hours um i can have up to 10 people at once if we get more than 10 people interested you know we'll do it in shifts but we're going to talk utopian we're going to talk mlb we're going to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. What are you watching on Netflix? What are we ordering on DoorDash? Uh, Let's just make it fun. Uh, It's going to be, again, very late. Uh, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. is 11 to 3 Eastern, but it's a Friday night. But, you know, maybe my West Coast peeps, uh, that's going to be 8 to midnight. Uh, So maybe my East Coast crew hangs out with me for a little bit at 10. And then we get you know, the, uh, the West coast cats, uh, a little bit later, but you know, if I notice a half hour, 45 minutes in that there's just crickets, we'll end it. Um, you know, unless you tell me, Hey, I'll be there at midnight. I can make it at midnight. So I, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I'll, I'll post that actually as an event, uh, as we get closer this week. So again, the three Xbox games this week are Expos at Blue Jays tonight, Indians at Reds tomorrow, Padres at Mariners on Wednesday. Absolutely no content on Thursday, uh, a day of recharge, if you will. Um, Friday is the Home Run Derby. It's a uh, 32 participants. You guys are going to see the final four live on Xbox, so the semifinals and the finals. And then we'll get you both All-Star games on Saturday and the All-Star Final on Sunday. All festivities this year from Fenway Park. The winning division, so, you know, there's four divisions. Whoever wins the All-Star Games, one of those eight teams is going to host next year. So that's how we did it last year at Dodger Stadium. The East won, and then the Boston Red Sox, Fenway Park, was chosen to host this year. So uh, if the North wins this year, there's a one in eight chance it's going to be in Milwaukee. If the West wins, then we're going back West. You know, we won't do Dodger Stadium again, but we'll we'll do something else. Uh, so we're going to make it a lot of fun. Uh, maybe Thursday, because Thursday is going to be really the only day all year where absolutely nothing's happening. Maybe we do a little networking. Maybe you bring someone in. Maybe I send out 200 invites. We're at 950 right now. Uh, I want to if we can try to get to a thousand by the end of the week, I mean, I don't think that's asking a ton. Uh, I mean, if everyone, if everyone watching this right now made an effort to bring in one person, uh, a coworker, a sibling, your spouse, a child, a cousin, a neighbor, anyone that loves what we're doing, bring someone in. Again, if you've brought people in already, you've done way more than you'll, you ever need to. Uh, Rick Lettenberg has a pass for life. He never has to bring in anyone. My God, he's brought in like 200 of you. Tim St. Clair has pretty much his whole family here. Uh, the Pfeffer family's all here. Um, you know, obviously, you know, nobody has to do anything. But honestly, if you're enjoying it, bring a friend. I'm stealing this directly from Mitch. Uh, let's try to get to 1,000. Let's try to grow the uh, YouTube subscription because one week from today, 
Utopian Cafe, uh, depending on my work schedule, it's either going to be at 7 a.m. or 11 a.m. And we're going to try to stay consistent on those two times. So we'll probably announce, you know, a day in advance what time to, to, to see the show. But uh, we want it's going to look a little different than what we're doing now. It's going to be not as much, you know, winners, losers, home runs, saves, scores. It's going to be more uh, about you guys and uh, what you want to talk about and uh, what's on your mind. So we'll have guests. We'll do birthday shout outs. We'll do, you know, welcomes for new members. I'll do trivia. I'll try to tell some stories. Uh, we'll try to make it look a little different. I'll still post the results every night. I'll, I'll even just say, hey, you know, check the folder. The scores are there. Here's the updated standings. Maybe throw a couple headlines at you. But the shows starting in a week, other than the weekend, because the weekend, we're not doing the cafe. We're doing late shows like we always do, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday, late or early evening. Those will still be focused on the results, but the morning show will be more. Uh, and then in December, uh, having a catch with Joey Buckholtz debuts, and that's going to be a formal one-on-one -on -one talk show, uh, 20 to 30 minute episodes, you know. So thanks for watching today. Uh, we'll see you later today, uh, you know, early evening for Expos Blue Jays, Steve Rogers versus Marcus Stroman. Everyone have a great Monday, and we'll talk to you soon.